What is up guys this is your boy Vishu from Savage Camp and this video is going to be a list comprehension but we are going to do a long form method instead of a shortcut that we did in duplicate so we are going to find duplicates which is present in a list that is also present in a list too but we are not going to use set because set can solve that problem in a line of code but we don't want that we want to write a list comprehension to practice so let's start with import from random import random and create list 1 list 2 and add elements in there for i in range 5 list 1 random oh i need to type this of 0 to 10 or let's do 0 to 8 and we will increase this to 8 elements so there are some overlapping random numbers and print f list so if i run this now you will see list 1 and list 2 and you will see 5 being a duplicate over there and every time you run this you will see a different list 1 and list 2 being generated now why are we writing a for loop in a list comprehension program we need to convert this into a list comprehension so here i'll say rand end of 0 to 8 which is a number for i in range 5 and the same thing i will copy paste and change the range to 8 let's remove this and run and you will see the same output but with one line of code so we have list 1 and list 2 it's time to find list 3 and list 3 is going to have elements that is present in both in both list 1 and list 2 so there are two ways we can do this one we can find elements that is present both in list 1 and list 2 and second we can find elements that is only present in list 2 and not in list 1 so elements that are present in list 1 and 2 are 7 6 6 is also here 2 is also here so only 5 is missing so we should have 7 6 2 and 5 we should not have 5 so 7 7 6 2 these should be in there so the way i would write it is first i will say number for number in list 2 this will give me list 2 because that is what I am specifying in here. I am saying for number for each number in list 2. So even though these are random, inte random integers generating a list. The list 2 and list 3 are same. Because we have number for number in list 2. Now I will add an if condition. If number in list 1. So it will add every number for number in list 2 this means that every number in list 2 if the number is also in list 1 so if I run this now you will see 8 which is also here you will see 2 which is also here and you will see 8 which is also here so we are seeing this this will find element in list 2 that is also element in list 1 now what if I want to reverse this and find element in list 2 that is not in list 1. So the keyword that you need to focus on is not. So what I will say is number for number in list 2 if number not in list 1. If the number is not in list 1 then it should generate a list out of it. And to make things easier let's change this to 4. So our list is shorter and you can see so we don't have 5 over here we don't have 8 
over here and we don't have 0 over here. We have 7, we have 2, we have 6 and we have 3. So this is one way to find elements that are not in list 1 and elements that is in list 1. So this one is like this. So I think this was a pretty good program. If you want, you can copy this, create a list 4, remove the not and we will say union and we'll say and we'll say not union i don't know i'm just ra randomly saying something so list union is union not union is going to be not union let's run this and you will see union is 777 and not union are these numbers 4 is not over here 6 is not over here 2 is not over here 2 is not over here 1 is not over here so this is a pretty easy program but it will help you understand list comprehension better if you are starting out and it's a good practice exercise so i would highly recommend you to understand this logic because if you practice it enough times it would just click like you will be able to write it as you talk and that is one of the things that is beautiful about python is you can write it like this and read and understand what is happening so that is my closing thoughts for this video and i had fun writing this so i hope you also enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next video